pretty much go anywhere you want. Mm -hmm. The name for it is net neutrality. It assures that everyone has the same online access from you at home to a big high tech company. But that could be changing. NBC7's Consumer Bob here now to explain how these changes could impact you. Yeah, and it could in a big way. This, this is a little difficult here. So first off, face it. We know that some people use the internet more than others. Should they be singled out and treated differently? Think of the person who uses their computer for work or the company providing you online movies and TV shows. So should people who need faster connections and gobble up more online bandwidth pay more for that access? That's a question with some very controversial answers. The internet was built on open technology. It wasn't a closed internet. Otherwise, it wouldn't be as big, as vast, and as powerful of an information tool as it is today. But it wasn't. Uh, that's uh, Professor Lance Larson from San Diego State. He says net neutrality means consumers should have equal access to content on the internet. Now, a few people would argue with that, but the Federal Communications Commission is said to be looking into changing things up a bit, where companies that dominate access might be treated differently, offered faster speeds, but also charge more for the privilege. But when someone like Netflix, Hulu and Amazon Prime are charged more, could those extra fees be passed along to you and me? And how does that change the playing field? Open, free delivery of the internet at speeds that we all can enjoy, and not really a tiered system where those that pay more get more, and those that pay less potentially get less. If costs go up, it means some consumers not be, may not be able to afford the changes. And while Amazon, Netflix, and Skype can probably afford to pay a little more for access, what about the new startup companies that might need the same kind of access but don't have the deep pockets to pay for it? Could changes in these net neutrality rules get in the way of growth and innovation? That's why these questions are a lot more complicated than you might think. We just take everything for granted, and little changes could have a big impact. Mm -hmm. So is this something that could happen?